What's up everyone? Uh, yesterday I was at a supercharger and I went to, went out and did a live uh, chat just because I was bored at the supercharger and I uh, decided to go live and so I have a video out on that uh, when I was at the supercharger so I briefly talked about uh, I rented a Tesla first time I ever driven a Tesla and so today the sun is out it's a beautiful day sorry for the wind it's a little windy I don't have my uh, lapel mic on me uh, not, not in my studio setup as per usual but uh, decided I was going to do a follow-up video and just show you this Tesla uh, out in the sunlight so you could get a better view uh, versus that nighttime view uh, last night. So uh, again, pretty much I am a huge Tesla bull, but I've never ever really driven a Tesla. And so I decided uh, I really need to uh, get, you know, get a Tesla in my hands uh, and drive it. And that way I could uh, more responsibly talk about everything. You know, I am very bullish about the company, very bullish about uh, Elon Musk and what their what their vision is and what they're doing for the future. Uh, but I've never actually driven a Tesla. And one of the reasons really is because I'm not interested in the Model 3. Uh, the Model S and Model X is out of my price range. And so the only vehicles I would be interested in uh, is the Model Y. But now I'm more interested in the Cybertruck. So that's really one of the reasons why I haven't purchased a Tesla yet because I'm just waiting for the Cybertruck. Uh, love the Model 3. It is awesome, but it's just not for me. I have two little kids and uh, let me just turn this camera around so you get a better view of this guy. So here it is. Uh, beautiful car, Model 3. Uh, just not for me. Uh, you know, for my family currently, I have two little kids again. So uh, not the car for me and my family. Definitely I would be considering a Model Y, but again, uh, since the model, since the Cybertruck is coming out, I'm just going to wait for the Cybertruck. So that's pretty much the basic reason why I don't currently have a Tesla because I am waiting for that Cybertruck. But right, here we go. This is the Model 3. It's in red, which is hot. Sorry for this wind again. Uh, you know, definitely red on black with the black tints. Very hot. Very nice. Very slick. Very, uh, you know, very sporty like, of course. And so. This is a performance model three from the outside. You can't tell it's a performance model because this is what's called a stealth performance model. I don't even think they have this model out uh, for sale anymore. So it's stealth because uh, it does not have the performance brakes and does not have the performance wheels. These are just the standard uh, wheels. It doesn't have the 21 inch wheels and doesn't have those red performance brakes. Uh, so it would look hot on this vehicle having those red brakes pop out, uh, you know, behind this red body. But this is just a uh, stealth model, and so it doesn't have the performance wheels. But this is definitely a performance vehicle. It has the dual motor, so you see right back here, dual motor, and these are performance motors, so this is a performance Model 3. Uh, we're gonna go around the other side and hop in, and uh, we'll go over some of the stuff inside, and then we'll take it for a ride and give you my opinion on the performance and the handling. So. Let's get inside. So here is the big uh, screen. Pretty much everything is on this screen. Uh, the only thing that is not is here you have your controls for reverse and drive and neutral and park. And on this side you have uh, basically your turn signaling and a quick windshield. I guess I have to close the door for that to work. For your you know windshield, windshield wipers. Uh, but and the, actually the windshield wipers is every, even the windshield wiper is controlled on the screen here so everything is basically controlled on the screen i'm sure you guys already pretty much know that uh, so uh let's see this is i'll show you that this is a performance model uh well because basically it has the track mode has track mode uh, i have to so this is the key by the way let me show you, grab the key so this is the key uh, you know, since this is a rental, I don't have the app for it. So this is the key that you get. It's just basically a card, and you put it you put it right here, and then uh, it will recognize it. And then there, after it recognizes it, I can put it into drive and reverse and whatnot. But now that it's uh, in driving mode, I could show you that it has track mode, and so track mode is on the performance models. Uh, so, you know, it explains what track mode is. Uh, basically, you know, do not use this as a public road. It's supposed to use on the racing track. Uh, and so it says right here, you know, track mode was designed for vehicles with the performance upgrade package. Performance and endurance is comparatively lower without performance tires and brakes. And so, you know, this is not... Uh, it's not the performance. Uh, it's a stealth again, so it doesn't have the performance tires or brakes, uh, but it does have the, uh, the motors, the performance motors. So that's uh, how you can see that this is a performance model three.
All right, guys, so we're going to take it for a drive, and I'm going to talk more about the handling, uh, the autopilot features, uh, and, you know, just the overall drive and feel of this vehicle, uh, the 0 to 60 time and whatnot. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so first of all, uh, this is a Model 3 that does not have full self-driving package on it. Uh, it only has the pre pretty much this basic uh, autopilot. And so I'm showing you on the screen here, it does see stop signs. So you see stop signs, you'll see stop lights, uh, but it won't stop for the stop signs or stop lights because it doesn't have the full self-driving package. Uh, for the full self-driving package, uh, that will stop for stop signs and stop lights, uh, but this only has the basic autopilot features, and that is uh, that it will keep you in lane and it will track the vehicle in front of you and it will slow down for if the vehicle in front of you slows down and it will continue to move forward if that vehicle in front of you moves forward uh, but it will not uh, stop for stop lights stop signs it will not change lanes uh, it will not overtake vehicles and you know, pretty much all that other stuff that is only if you have full self-driving package all right so uh, we're going to take it down to uh, uh, out of the public roads and we're going to try this zero to 60 time and we're gonna see how much power this thing has all right guys so we are at a parking lot that is completely empty there's nobody here so uh, we're gonna try that zero to 60 time that instant torque uh, I'm gonna shoot on my phone just basically this runway and so there's nobody here I already checked so pretty safe I'm not afraid I'm gonna hit somebody or something uh, so I'm gonna try to hold my phone and uh, do this zero to 60 and uh, we'll see how much power it has here we go oh yeah and there we go, we have hit 66. And that was pretty fast. Yeah, so instant torque. Uh, let me try that again and uh, we'll shoot the speedometer. Try to get the speedometer in there at the same time. I think my camera even moved a little bit. So, here we go, it's one more time. I'm gonna try to shoot it. All right, I'm gonna try to shoot it again with the speedometer let's go oh yeah there we go all right yeah so yeah definitely you get that instant torque uh and just my camera I even knocked my camera out of place so yeah definitely you get that instant torque of the power of the electric motors all right guys so now i have switched on the autopilot and so you see those blue lines is tracking the vehicle in front of me uh, so this vehicle in front of me if it comes to a stop uh, this vehicle will come to a stop as well and so like I'm not touching the brakes and this vehicle has uh, come to a complete stop because the vehicle in front of me uh, has stopped and so now when the vehicle goes I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch anything I'm not gonna touch the accelerator and the vehicle just automatically starts accelerating I'm not doing any steering right now you know my hands are off the wheel but you shouldn't do that because uh, you'll start you'll start getting blinking blue telling you to put your hands back on the wheel uh, because you have to be ready to take over at any time so uh, I pretty much just rest my hand on the wheel right there and so as long as you have a little bit of pressure on the wheel uh, it'll be fine and it's basically doing all these curves it's curving with the road and it's tracking the speed of the vehicle in front of me if the vehicle in front of me slows down uh, this vehicle will slow down if the vehicle in front of me stops we will come to a stop and when the vehicle pulls forward, uh, we will pull forward as well. So it's doing a good job of tracking. It's kind of a little freaky because uh, you're wondering if this vehicle is going to be able to track the road and the curves of the road, uh, but it does a, a pretty nice job. There, look, there is a, uh, a, what is that, Model X in front of me. So that's the Model X in front of me. So again, it sees these stop lights and uh, stop signs, but it won't stop for them. And so we're gonna just go to ride and see how well this autopilot does. And so look, it's tracking the Tesla in front of me. So it is going forward, but I wonder what's gonna happen when this vehicle turns. So the vehicle turned, and what, we're, what are we gonna do? It, so what basically, it just continues on the, the, the straight lane. So even though the vehicle in front of me turned, uh, it continues going straight because it is keeping in the same lane. Uh, and so if there's no vehicle in front of me, it's just gonna go the speed that I set it. So my max is 45 right now, so it won't go past 45. And so it's basically gonna curve with the road. So let's see how well it takes this curve. I'm not touching uh, the wheel, I'm not controlling it. And basically it's taking that curve all by itself. And uh, again, here's another curve. Let's see how well it takes this curve. Doing this turn all by itself. All right guys, so now I'm on highway. 
Uh, I'm going about 70 miles per hour, and so it's driving pretty much all by itself. It's keeping the lane and it's keeping the speed. Uh, if there's a vehicle that gets in front of me, it will also uh, slow down for that vehicle, but it will not change lanes. It doesn't do any of that. Uh, so we're on the highway, and you know, it's basically keeping this lane, and you see it's keeping that blue lane, so uh, it will just stay in this lane uh, as long as there's no other vehicles blocking its way. And so I want to talk a little bit more about the differences between full self-driving uh, and just the standard autopilot functions. So uh, full self-driving is currently $8,000. It's going to go up uh, each year. You know, it was uh, $7,000 last year, and now this year it, it was bumped up to $8,000. Uh, so Elon Musk has already talked about this as full self-driving uh, gets the feature complete, uh, which he says is probably going to be the end of this year because he is he is currently driving uh, the essentially the feature complete version of the software. And so he has already said uh, that it, by him driving it himself, he feels that it will be complete by the end of uh, this year. So uh, it's looking like uh, by, by probably next year, that's going to be bumped up to probably $9,000, maybe $10,000 if somebody wants to add full self-driving in the future. So full self-driving is going to be able to navigate on autopilot. Basically, you would insert an address to where you want to go, and the vehicle will go door to door to that address. It'll, it will get on the highway if you want it to get on the highway. It will get off the highway. It will stop for stop lights, stop signs. It will pass slow vehicles. Uh, it will do pretty much everything uh, that you would normally do to get from point A to point B. And so that is uh, what is going to be called feature complete. Uh, and then by that time, it's just going to be up to the regulators uh, for you know each state or each, each country uh, how they're going to regulate this thing. Uh, and you know they're just going to have to show that uh, it is 99.999999% safe for uh, a vehicle to pretty much drive itself without user intervention. Currently, that's not the case. A lot of people get into accidents, uh, and it just you know, it's just like whenever Tesla gets into an accident, uh, it makes front page news. Uh, a Ford, a Honda, a Toyota, anything else can get into an accident, and it, it never makes the news. But when Tesla gets into an accident, it will make the news just because it's Tesla. But uh, everyone that gets into an accident on full self driving is not using the system properly. Uh, it is the current system for consumers is not capable of doing driving 100%. Tesla even says this, uh, it is not meant for you to take your eyes off the road. If there's a semi truck that is crashed uh, in front of you on a road, it is your responsibility to be smart enough to stop for that semi truck uh, before running into it. So uh, again, this is not uh, full self driving. So uh, that's why people have to be careful. I'm keeping my eyes on the road right now. You know, I'm watching everything going on. I have one hand on the wheel, so I'm ready to take over uh, if something goes wrong. And so, you know, this is what it's called uh, autopilot, uh, not full self-driving, not level five autonomy. So again, overall, uh, you know, the, the, the handling of this vehicle, uh, the, the, the autopilot of this vehicle is really impressive. It does an awesome job of keeping lane. Uh, I haven't had a problem yet of it not keeping me in the center of this lane. I haven't had a problem yet with uh, it diverging into a different lane. Uh, so it is a little bit freaky because when, it, when the road is turning, I'm just wondering if uh, in the middle of this turn, is it going to uh, fail to track the lane? But it has not happened to me yet. Uh, it tracked the lane very nicely, uh, very cleanly every single time. The vehicle in front of me, if it slows down, uh, this vehicle has slowed down every single time. So very impressive. Uh, the handling is awesome. Uh, you know, you just feel like you have 100% control. Uh, the handling is just amazing. Uh, everything that people have said about the handling of the vehicle, I completely agree with. Uh, you feel, uh, you just feel the wheel and the, the steering wheel and the and the and the tires. Uh, you feel it, uh, feel the the curve of the road. You just really feel the handling is just it's just on par. It's on par with you know, any other vehicle that I have ever driven. So uh, overall, very impressed with this Model Three. Uh, like I said, not the vehicle for me and my family just because of the size. Uh, I'm more interested in the Cybertruck, and so. Uh, I will probably be getting the Cybertruck when that gets out. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all my subscribers. I uh, hope you find some value in this video and this content. Uh, and hope I just kind of brighten your day a little bit. It's a beautiful weekend. The sun is shining. Uh, so, you know, social distancing, uh, being in this car by myself is really nice. And just enjoying the ride, enjoying the road, testing out all the features, and uh, just bringing you a video, bringing some content to you guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.